it is an interesting problem that found its way and got posted on Mensa Mumbai's WhatsApp group on puzzles. And uh, after solving this problem, looking at the cleverness of its design and the elegant solution uh, that it afforded, I suspected the source and I checked and it turned out to be true, Katriona Shearer. You can check out her blog and it is full of many such clever geometric problems. Well, let us look at the problem itself. The problem has these two squares. The dimensions happen to be one and square root two. And then there is this angle starting from the lower vertex of this lower square to the top vertex of the top square to this point here. And that angle is to be found. So if you want to solve this problem on your own, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, we can look at the solution. Okay, so let us look at the solution of this problem. Over here, these two lengths, one and square root of two, are a huge hint of how to solve it. Because in a square whose side is one, this length, square root two, is lurking somewhere inside. And that is the diagonal of that square. This diagonal is square root 2. And then there are other lengths which are square root 2 as well. The sides of the lower square. And once we mark them, we realize there is a point here from which there are three lines of equal length radiating outward. And that reminds us of a center of a circle. So we can plot a circle here. And what is the use of this circle? Well, if you look closely, this circle is intimately related to the angle we are looking for because the angle is subtended at the circumference of the circle and the two ends of its arms are also on the circumference. So this is the angle subtended by this arc. And if you look at this arc, that it is a quarter of that circle. So if this angle is 90 degree, subtended by this arc, then the angles it subtends on the circumference must be half and that is 45 degrees. And that's the solution of the problem. Let us now solve this problem once again, but this time we'll be using some straightforward methods like uh, trigonometry. And uh, for that we are going to do some construction. So from the top vertex, we are going to drop a perpendicular over here. And uh, that forms two right angle triangles. One is A, B, C and the other is C, D, E. And the angle we were looking for is now split into two parts, alpha and beta. Let us start with this triangle A, B, C. And in this triangle, we want to find this angle alpha here. And with reference to alpha, if we look at uh, the lengths of these triangles that we know, uh, we know this side AB, the opposite side of alpha, which happens to be equal to the side of this square 1. And we also know this side, which is the adjacent side of alpha. It is made up of this length 1 plus this length over here, which is square root 2. So opposite side and adjacent side, we can know the tan of alpha. There. So it is 1 upon square root 2 plus 1. Uh, similarly, we can find tan beta as well. The opposite side here is going to be this entire length square root 2 minus the length of the top square that is 1. So square root 2 minus 1 is the opposite side and the adjacent side is 1. And knowing tan alpha and tan beta, we can now find the tan of this entire angle. Using the formula tan alpha plus beta is equal to tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus the product tan alpha into tan beta. We can substitute the values. It looks a little complicated, but we can simplify this. So this square root 2 plus 1 and square root 2 minus 1, sum and difference, they are going to multiply each other over here. Uh, in the denominator, we have this square root 2 plus 1 uh, that will go on the top. And from there, we'll be subtracting this square root 2 minus 1. So lots of things are getting cancelled. And this expression we are getting in the numerator and denominator, uh, they are identical. So the ratio is 1. So therefore, tan of alpha plus beta, this entire angle that we were trying to find, its tan is 1. So the angle must be 45 degrees. Thank you for watching. And uh, here are some more puzzles uh, that are on the channel. I uh, hope you might uh, like them too.